Welcome to ABC Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about introduction to tissues. A tissue is a group of cells that usually have a common origin in the embryo and function together to carry out specialized functions. Body tissues can be classified into four basic types according to their structure and functions. These classes include the epithelial tissues, the connective tissues, the muscular tissues and the nervous tissues. Cells are held together by cell junctions in order to form tissues. Most epithelial cells, some muscle cells and nerve cells are tightly joined together into functional units. This point of contact between the plasma membranes of tissue cells are referred to as cell junctions. There are five important types of cell junctions which are the tight junctions also called the zonular occludens, the adherence junctions also called the zonular adherence, the desmosomes also called macular adherence, the hemidesmosomes and the gap junctions. The tight junction, also referred to as the zonular occludens, forms a tight bed around the cell. It prevents the passage of substances in between the cells, referred to as the paracellular pathway of substance transportation. It lines epithelial and endothelial surfaces, forming a tight bond between the cells, thereby preventing leakage of the contents of the organs. The proteins that make up tight junction include occludins, claudins, and junction addition molecules. Adherence junctions, also referred to as zonular occludens or belt desmosome, is called a belt desmosome because it forms a tight belt around the cell. Generally, whenever a cellular junction forms a belt around the cell, it is known as a zonular junction, such as zonular adherence and zonular occludens. It contains black protein and transmembrane glycoproteins called cadherins. It joins the cell together by a very strong bond thereby resisting separation of epithelial cells when acted upon by various forces, such as the contractile activities that happens when food moves through the intestines. Desmosomes, also called the macular adherence, also contains plaque proteins and transmembrane glycoproteins called cadherins, which attach to intermediate filaments, keratins, inside the cell. However, unlike zonular adherence, desmosomes do not form a tight belt around the cells. Hence, they are referred to as macular adherence. Macular junctions do not form belts around the cells. Desmosomes also prevent cells from separating when acted upon by a force. Desmosomes that are present in the epidermis of the skin prevent them from separating under tension. Hemidesmosomes also resemble desmosomes. However, they do not link adjacent cells together, but rather they link a cell to the underlying connective tissue, referred to as the basement membrane. Its name arises from the fact that they look like half of a desmosome. Transmembrane proteins in hemidesmosomes are integrins rather than cadherins, and they attach to intermediate filament keratins in the cell and laminins in the basement membranes. Gap junctions are also referred to as connections, and they are made up of membrane proteins called connexins. They connect neighboring cells together. Through the connections, ions and small molecules can diffuse from the cytosol of one cell to another. Gap junction allows the cell in a tissue to communicate with one another. They are necessary for future development, for transmission of nerve impulses, and for cardiac muscle contractions synchronicity. 